Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at position vectors and how we can represent effectively coordinates with vectors. So a position vector tells you the position of a point from the origin. So it's not just a direction vector, it can be a position coordinate as well. The vector 2i plus 3j could start anywhere, so that's just a vector. That effectively refers to 2 to the right and 3 up. Uh, it could start anywhere though. However, the position vector, so just a slight change in uh, phrasing here, the position vector 2i plus 3j definitely starts at the point 0, 0, so effectively takes you from the origin to the coordinate 2, 3. Okay, so think of position vectors as coordinates of 2 plus 3i, 2i plus 3j. And let's look at how we would get from one coordinate to another. So the position vector at point A uh, will have a vector from O to A, and similarly so will B. And if we want to go from A to B, then the way we're going to have to do this is if there's no straight line taking us from A to B, then we're going to have to come back along A and then out along B again. So we have to go back along A, which is the ve minus OA vector, and then plus the OB vector. So it's rearranged to the B coordinate effectively, take away the A coordinate. So this is how I would remember it. If you want to get from a coordinate B to a coordinate, so from a coordinate A to a coordinate B in that direction from A to B, then you've got to do the coordinate for B take away the coordinate for A, and that works in general. It's also shown by vectors here. If you want to go from A to B, you have to go back along A and forward along B. Okay, so let's have a look at this question here. The points A and B on the diagram have coordinates 1, 5 and 7, 4. Find in terms of I and J, uh, the position vector of A, well that's just going to be 1I plus 5J. And here are all the other questions. So position vector of B, that's going to be 7i plus 4j. And the way we can work out how to get from A to B, apart from using our um, grid axis here, is to do the coordinate for B, take away the coordinate for A. So it's coordinate B, take away A. So that's going to be 7i plus 4j, which is what B is. Take away the coordinate for A. And simplifying our answer here, we get 6i minus j. And that makes sense because we've got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right and 1 down. So 6i minus j kind of makes sense there. Okay, a slightly difficult question here then. O to A is 5i minus 2j. And A to B this time is 3i plus 4j. Find the coordinate for B, find the exact length from A to B. So the first thing I would do here is perhaps draw a diagram to help me out here. So O to A is 5 across, 2 down. So that's where the coordinate A is. And to get from A to B, we then go 3 to the right and 4 up. So 3 to the right and 4 up. And the way we got here was by going 5 to the right and 2 downwards. So where would we end up here? Well, we'll obviously end up at the coordinate 8, 2. So let's hopefully uh, see that that gets us the right answer. So you can do it another way by substituting it into this effectively formula here. And you can see here that that's what you'd get. I definitely encourage you to draw a diagram to help me visualize this. Um, it would be very helpful to you. So that's the answer to part A. The answer to part B is just now the length of the vector from O to B. So it's this straight line length from the origin to point B here. And that's just going to be a bit of Pythagoras's calculation. So square root of 68, which is effectively 2 root 17. Right, OK, your turn to have a go at some questions now. Pause the video and see how far you get. Right, OK, let's have a go at question 3 then. So let's draw ourselves out a diagram. O to Q is 4i minus 3j. So that's gone 3 down and 4 across. And this is Q. And then how we get from P to Q is we go 5i's plus 6j's. Now if we've landed at this spot Q, we're going to have to go backwards 5i's and downwards 6j's. So we're now going to go backwards and down. So backwards by 5 
and down by 6. The reason we've had to go backwards here is because it tells us that the vector from P to Q is 5i plus 6j. So if we want to work out where Q, where P was in relation to where Q now is, we'll have to go backwards. So let's have a look at how we find the vector from O to P. This is going to be if we've moved forward by 4 and back by 2, back by four, 6, then that's going to be backwards by 2i. And if we've moved down by 3 and then down by another um, 6, then that's going to be minus 9j. So that's the answer for part A. Part B is just going to be a bit of Pythagoras's calculation for this vector here. So that's going to be the square root of 85. Um, and then part C is the vector from P to Q. That's just going to be this Pythagoras distance of 5 squared plus 6 squared, square rooted, which will give us um, 25 add 36 is 1, carry the 1, 61. So square root of 61 there. Okay, the next question here, the position vectors of three vertices in a parallelogram are 4, 2, 3, 5, and 8, 6. Find the possible values of the fourth vertice. Now that's a cracking question. Let's uh, have a look at a diagram here. I've noticed that all of my coordinates here are basically in the top right quadrant, so that's why I've drawn smaller third, uh, second, and fourth quadrants. So 4, 2 is our first coordinate. Uh, 3, 5 is our second coordinate, and 8, 6 is our third coordinate. Okay, so for a parallelogram we're going to have two um, possible uh, opposite, si opposite uh, parallel sides here. So either we could have our coordinates um, down here, uh, so we make a parallelogram like this, or we could have our um, uh, points down here. Um, I think I'm just going to work out one, because we could also have a point uh, up here as well, um, creating these two as parallel sides. Um, we could also have a point, I think that's the all the permutations there. Yeah, okay, so that's all of them there. So. Right, so what we need first is, let's work out this one first. So we've got our, trape we've got our parallelogram here. And what we want is for this line here to be uh, equal to this line here. Um, so, and, and for the vector down here to be the same as the vector from here to here. So let's go from 4, 2 to 8, 6. Now this is a vector of 4 and 4. So therefore we have to go back 4 and back 4 again. So this coordinate here is going to be minus 1, 1. Okay, so that's our first coordinate answer, the coordinate 1, 1. Let's have a look and see if the parallelogram was this way now. Okay, so the next, uh, if we get from 3, 5 down to 4, 2, that's going to be a movement of 1 up and 3 down. So this is going to be uh, 1 up and 3 down, so that's going to now be at 9, 3. So the second answer here is 9, 3. And the, the parallelogram could also have been up here. So uh, how do we get from 4, 2 to 3, 5? Well, in this case here, it would be decrease the x by 1, so that's minus 1, and up by 3. So in this case here, it's going to be minus 1 and up by 3, so that's going to be now at 7, 9. I feel like I've missed one there, but I think these are all of them. Um, okay, so have a go then at an another sample of questions from exercise 11D. Uh, make sure you get lots of practice with these types of I's and J components of vectors. Right, so thanks very much for watching.